This is the moment for Jamison Williams that will define his legacy, the legacy that he has yet to even start to develop. This is the moment. Have all the red flags, have all the concerns that we've had about this young man been validated today? From the moment he was drafted, my reaction to subtle things that he's done in social media and on the field, has that all been validated today? Now, I saw the comment section of my previous video. A lot of you don't believe he didn't know the rules. The reason that I said that he must not have known the rules is because of the stance that Brad Holmes took on the whole situation. See, my belief is that Jamison Williams will be cut if he wasn't the 12th overall pick. But then again, Stanley Berryhill, who is a nobody, was also kept as well. We cut Quintez Cephas and a veteran in C.J. Moore because of what they did. And it's quite possible that Jamison Williams could be in the same boat if it was an NFL game. But that's why I came to that conclusion, that he must not have been fully aware. Now the question is, and maybe that's what they got to, that's the determination that this month long or, or however many months it went on, investigation went on, they determined that Jamison Williams didn't know. So it's not for us to really know if he knew or not. We're all assuming and speculating whether he actually knew or not. We don't know what goes on at the rookie symposium. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But I have to, my judgment and my decision and my speculation was totally based off what Brad Holmes said, not his agent. But Jamison Williams has made a costly mistake. And Dan Campbell said in Hard Knocks, failure is when you don't learn from something. Will Jamison Williams learn from his very costly mistake? Now, the title of my last video was called A Costly Decision. But Jamison Williams, just how costly was that? You're going to find out. According to Jason OTC, says for Williams, that loss, meaning those six games, will be at least $382,906 in salary, plus he will now have $6.877 million in guaranteed salary, which is $5.37 million for 2024 and 2025 vanish. That's a big deal. Very costly mistake. Now, this, is, this goes deeper than Jamison Williams. This reflects the city of Detroit. It reflects Sheila. It reflects Brad. It reflects Dan. It reflects his teammate. This was a selfish decision by Jamison Williams. He has made a selfish decision. The impact goes much deeper than six games. It goes to the season. It goes to his legacy. And the question that I have for you is, do you think Jamison Williams will learn from this? My honest opinion doesn't matter. Very similar with Jer Jalen Carter. It doesn't matter how good this, this kid is. If you got to call a spade a spade, he's a spade. He doesn't have any room for error, in my opinion. He was saved on a technicality. If this was an NFL game, he would be suspended a year. Probably wouldn't be cut. The, it too much... Brad Holmes, you could say that his Brad Holmes legacy is heavily invested in Jamison Williams. The capital he traded up to get, to, he used to trade up to get Jamison Williams. So Brad Holmes is also just as connected to this as Jamison Williams. Because this, when your children do something, it is directly reflected on the parents as they're young. The same situation can be said here. This was a decision that Brad Holmes made to draft up and get Jamison Williams. And now everything that Jamison Williams does not only reflects upon him, but on the Detroit Lions organization and the man who drafted him. This is the beginning of something for Jamison Williams. Which, which direction is Jamison Williams going to go in? Will he go in, I turn my career around, the career that has yet to fully get started, never look back, Hall of Fame career, or will he go down the path of consistency, consistently making a ruckus on his way out of the NFL. Now, Antonio Brown, he lasted quite a long time, and he's by far one of the worst I've ever seen. Will that be Jamison Williams? He hasn't even started his legacy, really, and he's already tarnished it. It's time for us, whether or not he knew the rules, I don't know. I wasn't there. But this I do know. Trust is something that has to be earned. Respect is something that has to be earned. And Jamison Williams has neither at this point. It doesn't matter what the kid can do. He has to put it on the field. He has to show that he's learned from his mistake. Whether it was an honest mistake, it's still 
Still, and he's been punished. This is the time. This is the moment. There will be no more defending of Jamison Williams. If you want ruckus makers on your team, then that's fine. But this is not the team for you. He better be glad that it was the way it was because it could be a lot worse. Jamison Williams, man, this is the moment. <laughs> I'm laughing because in Batman Begins, Batman says, it's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines me. All this talking, it's not what Jamison Williams can do, but what he actually does. One thing that I've learned from this is that if the signs are there, don't ignore them. We've been saying, I've tried to give this guy the benefit of the doubt, and I'm still rooting for him. But if the signs are there, they're there. Now, it's not my fault that he's in front of millions of people getting judged and criticized. I'm not judging him. All I'm saying is that his behavior is a cause for concern. I said it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. And to me, the way that he makes up for this, and he, he comes back, he does his job. No more crying, no more fits, no more outburst, none of that stuff. You come in, you catch a ball, you hand it to the ref, you jot to the sideline, you dap up your team. He let his team down. Forget that $7 million. He let the Lions down. Will he learn from this? That is the question. We have yet to see. And for me, I'm not going to make a decision on Jamison Williams just yet. When he comes back, and he has a chance to redeem himself, we'll go from there. This was a mistake. The red flags are everywhere. And now he has to change the color of those flags. He has to put them up, man. This is your moment, Jamison Williams. Get it together. Today, right now. It starts right now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you ready for the Detroit Lions to trade him? Are you concerned about the future? Is he even worth the time, the effort? He's going to let us know that very soon because his actions is not who he is underneath, but what he does that defines him. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Love it. I love Batman Begins. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm not making excuses for Jamison Williams. That's not what I'm doing. I don't think Brad is either. I'm calling a spade a spade. Whether he knew it or not, I don't know. But what I do know is from this point forward, there's no room. There's no margin for error, Jameson. None. You haven't even started your NFL career, and now it's this is, this is your legacy? Gambling? Being suspended six games? This is your legacy? Not even a full year into your career? Listen, I'm not Jameson Williams. I just report the news. Y'all don't have to take that frustration out at me. I don't know what the kid is doing. What I do know is this is his moment. It starts now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going we, we to we be okay, man. Lions going to be okay. Because I trust the management to get our, us our team. And, and, and listen, I'll just say this and I'll wrap this video up. Don't come with this Jerry Goff nonsense. He doesn't. Who is he going to throw the ball deep to right now? <laughs> anyway, that's it, man. Jamison Williams, you know what you got to do, and it starts today.